Hey guys, hang on a second. Okay. So, apologise for the glare in advance out the back. So, I just wanted to talk to you about the um, the Chaotic Lab Voren tap um, issues that I had installing this thing. So, I'm running a Rapido or a Fetus Rapido um, hot end, and I follow the instructions here in the manual. And it tells you to basically install the, which will, you, you'll see when it starts going wrong. Um, okay, that's the end of it. Let's get up to the top part. So it tells you basically to install the extruder first and just sit it on top of the, um, the two, there's two screws here that are sitting about two and a half to three millimeters out. Uh, 12 mil screws and that is where the um, top of the Rapido hot end sits um, up, sits up underneath that um, so it kind of like goes up and sits underneath here um, it's hard to show you what's wrong um, yeah, so, it's, so it pushes up under there, and un underneath these screws here, and it um, like sits there, and then you can kind of like nip them up just lightly while, while it holds there. Um, and I found that putting this on and doing that, it um, when I went to put the screw the bottom these two holes here and um, the bottom two screws for the cooling fan assembly these two three by fifties here uh, it would not line up with the um, plate uh, with the CNC plate at all with this piece here so the, the, basically it started screwing onto the side here which was not 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 terribly great so um, I found a couple of issues. None of it was to do with the Chaotic Labs tap. It was basically an alignment problem with the hot end, this here. Uh, first of all, I had to drill the holes out because I couldn't get the screw through. So it wasn't, so for some reason during the print, it had closed up a little bit. So I got a 3.2 millimeter drill bit and drilled the uh, a clearance hole right through because on the uh, at the other end of it it was binding up a little bit so and that, that and that means that I couldn't actually get any wiggle room to adjust at all the angle of the thread um, attacking this screw these screws here for securing the front plate so anyway long story short I ended up drilling those out and I had to um, then basically take this off and offer this up sit it underneath just tack them in place the two with the two screws and then um, with these two screws here just screw them just tight lightly on the on the top of the um, assembly because it's just got a little u shaped uh, in the casting or in the printing and then what I did was I ended up basically before putting the front cover on I aligned the two 50 mil screws I screwed them in and then basically moved the um, the bottom uh, block housing of that uh, um, hot end um, part and I maneuvered it to a place where I could actually freely screw those two screws in and then I nipped up held that in position and nipped up the two screws here, that, which, which is just here, uh, that secure this into place, and I just nip them, and I, I basically tighten them up quite night, quite tight, and then I basically um, put the top, set the set the extruder on, on, did that up, and then when I screwed the front plate on, it was fine. Um, so it wasn't a fault. I don't think it's definitely not a fault of the machining of the CNC tap. It was more of some sort of uh, irregularity with either the U-shaped screws at the top of the um, of of here, 
of the hotting or a slight misalignment of the holes either in the print itself or on off the printer itself so yeah so opening those holes out to 3.2 which is a good clearance size for a three mil screw uh, fixed the problem for me because um, otherwise it was trying to bore a hole in the side of the um, off here it was not lining up it was a quarter about 25 percent off the hole so it was never going to start so anyway with the, without further ado um, let's watch the video and show these failures firsthand so hopefully this is a bit of an interesting change from just going through the motions of uh, putting this thing together so you know you don't have success every day of the week so um, cool awesome So I'm trying to screw the screw in, and I think it's going in, but it's actually going into the plastic. And it's just, it's just actually start pushing on the back face and pushing the whole assembly out towards me, so. So I'm just going to take that out now and find out why. So I'm just trying to get the bolt started actually in, into the um, tap itself into this, the aluminium thread and that is not happening at all. So I'll try the other side and it looks like it's threading in but it's actually just threading into the plastic bottom half of the hot end. So to speed things up, I'm just going to try and start this again. Started in the with both those units on, with the front cover missing. I'm going to try it again, and they just will not start. And that one won't start either. <clears throat> so I'm just going to fast forward here uh, and we'll get this thing stripped down. So I'm just dra grabbing a drill <clears throat> and I'm just going to drill through that bottom housing of the hot end there because the bolts just won't go through and you can see I'm looking at the mark that I've made on the uh, base of the tap there. <clears throat> just put my 32 millimeter drill bit in. Turn it over and do the back side. Got 
go to blow out. And now we'll see if the screws go in. So even with the extruder loose on the very top there, I still couldn't get that bottom two bolts to line up, so I'm going to pull it off. Now I'm carefully trying to engage the screws into the tap so that I don't cross thread them. So I'm being very careful here because um, the aluminium is quite soft and you will cross thread it and damage it. So I'm just trying to get those two bolts lined up and I'll get them sitting central so it's easy to turn them both together and then I'll nip up those two top bolts up on my finger, uh, palm of my hand there. So I'll just nip it up, hold it, hold it together there nip it up just and now recheck the screws to make sure that they're still free and theoretically that should allow us to put the uh, extruder on the top and then put the front face on and the four bolts should engage nicely. Just carefully engage the Bowden tube. Get your wires out of the way there. And then sit it on there and line it up and put your screws in.
just make sure when you put the extruder on that you're actually touching it down on top of the um, hot end so that it's together otherwise you'll have trouble doing the top screws so this one here is a bit tricky you just got to be look at it from the left hand side and just carefully thread it through the hole without dropping it in but it does go in so hold everything together and give it a nice little tighten up hands in the way but you get that idea give them a nice tighten up check all four screws come around the right hand side and do the right hand screw just check there for tightness and then do the one below on the bottom on the um, hot end and the other one as well don't do them up way too tight because you will damage the plastic and now the front cover can go on carefully thread them through the hole feed your wires through make sure that you're not going to cut them off and we'll start with the bottom screws thread them in there and get your driver and screw it in, it should screw in nicely that wasn't so easy I thought I was using the wrong screw, <laughs> the wrong hex bit so that's gone on beautifully, nice and smooth. Don't tighten them up, just get them in there so it's about three quarters of the way in. And then put the top to them. And then evenly tighten all four of them. Just as you tighten this up, just make sure your fans aren't binding. Otherwise you might have something jammed in there like a cable or a wire. Just snip them up, it's just holding a case on, it's nothing more than that. So you don't need to do them super tight, you're just holding two fans. Just check those fans. That's it, that's all done. So yeah, it may well be just a problem with this particular uh, print, um, the Rapido HF, um, so not sure. But anyway, that, that's a problem I had and the solution. Thanks for tuning in, cheers.